Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card replacement for iMac A1418. Always begin by disconnecting the rear power cord. It's very important so that the power supply is not live. The tools we're going to need are a T5 and a T10 screwdriver, plastic and metallic prying tools, tweezers, a blow dryer, and M3 double-sided tape. Begin by heating up the glue that's securing the screen to the iMac. Uh, it's glued on, so go ahead and heat it up for about 4-5 or five minutes to make sure it's nice and soft. And then go ahead and start prying in with the sharp tool and one of the corners. Please note that if you're using a metallic tool like we are here, there's a possibility you can scratch up the interior of the screen. So go very slow and try to use a plastic tool instead of a metallic tool first. Um, go ahead and go all the way around the contour and break that seal. When the glue is warm, it should be able to come apart pretty easily. Then you can wedge in like a piece of plastic and then pry it and get that separation going. Once the separation is started, you can gently pull back on the screen up top and expose the two connections. Let's take a closer look here. Uh, there's the um, screen connection and the power for the screen. Go ahead and pull that power for the screen first uh, by gently wiggling it out of its socket and then the actual uh, screen data cable. Go ahead and pull on that little tongue uh, and then unclip it like that. With those two connections uh, unhooked, we can go ahead and lower the screen, but it's still attached with the uh, foam tape double-sided glue that they have. So go ahead and uh, use a tool to go ahead and cut that apart. Uh, we're just using a metallic prying tool here. Uh, once you got that separated, you can just pull it right out. We'll need to remove this tape here. So you can just peel that away. Uh, we'll be putting double-sided tape over it once we reassemble the unit. This is an optional step, but we highly suggest to remove the speaker. Go ahead and remove the two T10 screws. With those screws to remove, you can go ahead and start pulling up on the speaker, and then that will expose the speaker connection to the logic board, and you can just unplug that by gently pulling down on it. Now you can go ahead and lift up the speaker and move it out of the way. This will expose the Wi-Fi card and give you a better grasp at it. Go ahead and remove the two T5 screws that are guarding the antenna cables. Every time you remove one, you can just go ahead and start untucking those antennas. They're just uh, clicked in, so just pop them right out, like so. Put those antennas out, you can go ahead and remove the two T5 screws that are securing the card to the logic board, and that will release the card and you can just pull it out. This is where removing the speaker comes in handy. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card installation for iMac A1418. Go ahead and insert the card back in. It can be a little tricky. This is why removing that speaker was handy. You can reach around it with your finger and guide it into its slot. When it's plugged in, let's screw it in. Now go ahead and secure the two T5 screws securing the Wi-Fi card if you were taking that out. Go ahead and click in the Wi-Fi antennas. This, you know, takes a little bit of time and kind of frustrating, but click in the first two, then secure it with the, the screw and then the, the next two. Alright, here we go. Let's put in that speaker. The speaker slides right in. Make sure to leave some slack and plug it in first, then stick it into its socket. There we go. Now secure the two T10 screws that are securing the speaker. It's very important to remove all of the residual uh, double-sided tape that was left from when we took the screen apart. Go ahead and remove as much as you can. Try to get all of it. Make sure there's no gap. Put the double-sided tape 
all the way around the entire contour, especially all the places where we removed the previous double-sided tape from the factory. Now, sometimes you want to double stack that. You want to put two rows on. You put one row on, and then go ahead and remove the uh, uh, guarding, you know, uh, material. And then on top of that, make another layer if you want to be extra careful. Now go ahead and remove the plastic from the screen itself uh, if you're putting back the old one. Make sure it's nice and clean, aligned it so you can get a nice good seal. Make sure it's uh, uh, oriented properly and it's not sticking out too much to the left or the right. Now go ahead and lift it up and go ahead and connect those two connections the LVDS or the screen cable that are at in the display whichever model you have first this is the data for the display go ahead and put that in sorry about the blurriness here but you get the concept make sure to click that in and uh, that it's nice and sealed now for the power go ahead and click that in also again sorry for the bl blurriness now go ahead and clamp it up and that's it apply generous pressure making sure you get a nice good seal